Yeah. Um, he- hello, everyone, friends of the YouTubes. It is I, <laughs> Duhad. Let's read. Let's read. Uh, Let's read. Let's read. Uh, the Pony Dead by Duhad. Duhad Eight. Um, so, a brief explanation about what we're doing here. Um, as you well, may or may not, yeah, as, 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 as you may have gathered from the title and from the name of the uh, thing that we're doing and the uh, author and all that, is that we are reading the story that I wrote, and it's the um, <clears throat> it's like a two-part story. Uh, we're reading part of part one, or maybe more, depending on what people want to do or whatever. Point is, we're going to read um, this story, um, and... Uh, it, this is a story that was that uh, took a while to write. It was a, it was a long one, and uh, what happened when I was writing it was that I needed a lot of editors because it was you know difficult to 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 do all of. So I got um, I think it was uh yeah, uh, Nonavolus, Soundspeed, and uh, Colonel DeFrog, uh, who've all been involved in the channel in various ways to help me uh, <clears throat> edit it. And one thing we found out while editing it was that uh, um. Whenever I was in like the room or the chat with the people who were editing the story, uh, I would get increasingly nervous and anxious and freak the fuck out. Uh, it, um, and so, like, now they're gonna like the other let's read people are gonna read it. Well, I'm, I'm here in the in the thing uh, because I thought it would be <coughs> funny. I have some. Ice water, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass it over to the rest of you. you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are here to exploit Duhod's flaws. Let's right. read. <laughs> I, I will be the the narrator. Uh, Lyra will be uh, the Nero. Let's read. And then Bonbon bon will be the Belial, and then Winter will be the everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The Pony Dead by Duhod Eight. Five friends vacationing together as tensions rise between them. A cabin located far what? from civilization, deep within a dark forest. A book a bound in Neat. human flesh okay. and inked in human blood. I, I don't know where they found humans. The, oh. An evil, I thought I changed long that. dormant, oh, fuck. now awoken. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. An axe. A word. No. Groovy. No. A lamb. Meat. Okay. Wait, wait. Chapter where's, one. Where is it? Is this? The cabin. What is it? What? Bon Bon sighed as she carefully stepped over a large tree root and frowned at the jade unicorn who had insisted on dragging her out into the middle of nowhere. Why, Ross? How much farther till we get to this place? <clears throat> We should be there. We should be almost there now. Just hold out a little bit longer, okay, sweetie? To Bon Bon's annoyance, Lyra had not even broken a sweat over the last four hours of hiking. If she had been in a better mood, she might have been proud of how thoroughly Lyra had followed the exercise regimen she had pestered her to take up. But here and now, in the woods, she felt it rather hard to feel much more than mild contempt for her fit friend. Looking back, the Earth Pony took solace in knowing that, at the very least, she was not alone in her suffering. While Carrot Top was holding up all right, Derpy had given up on flying and Colgate seemed about ready to collapse. Bon Bon had just decided to call for a break, under the pretense of being concerned for Colgate when Lyra pointed ahead excitedly. There it is, we're here! And with that, she rushed ahead toward an opening in the thick woods. Bon Bon ran after her, but as she came into sight of their destination, she felt her jaw slacken and her gait slow to a walk. When Lyra had told her friends that she had gotten permission from an old university professor to use his summer home for a vacation spot, she had imagined a pleasant house in the woods. While the long trip had lowered her expectations of their destination, she had never thought that the summer home would be a tiny, run-down looking cabin. Oh my! Carrot Top murmured as she trotted up to join Bon Bon. This is well... Um, well, fantastic, Lyra said, turning to face the other mares, beaming from ear to ear. 
Can you believe Professor Orange would just let us stay here for free? Derpy looked up, frowning. Yes. No. No. Well, <laughs> I don't know. That's everything. The other, the others all turned to see Colgate, who had just staggered into the clearing, looking equal parts exhausted and horrified. No, but we did not just come all the way out here for this. Bon Bon gritted her teeth and glared at the blue unicorn. She did not know Colgate very well, except that she and Lyra had been friends at school and had recently reconnected in Canterlot for the royal wedding. Lyra had insisted on bringing her along, saying that Bon Bon would absolutely love her, sweetie. It had taken less than a day with the mayor for Bon Bon to begin to wonder if that had been a secret insult to her or her taste in friends. Oh, come on, Colgate. We have this whole place to ourselves for a week. Lyra spun and raced towards the cabin. Come on, you slow pokes. I want to check out this place before it gets too dark. Colgate flopped to the ground with a whimper as Bonbon snorted. Come on, girls, let's shove our packs inside. That was she bon said. Bon. Oh, that was Bonbon. That... Oh, that was Bonbon. Sorry. That's... Go, Bonbon. Go. Go. I didn't put those in my bag. No, I. <laughs> no. I did not read that. Let's Fuck you. Shove our packs to out our packs inside. She said, leading Carrot Top and Derpy after the mint green unicorn. Lyra's horn shimmered as she ran a telekinetic field across the top of the door frame. After a moment of concentration, she grinned and pulled a set of slightly rusted keys down from their hiding place. There we go, Lyra said, deftly flipping the correct key from the set and using it to unlock the door. Second oldest hiding spot in the book. Derpy. That was Derpy. Yeah, that's Derpy man. It was just a, a paragraph fail there. Whatever, oh. Derpy's now is smoking heavily too. How dare second you defrog. Old, second oldest hiding spot in the book. Derpy giggled, right. but Bon Bon just man. rolled her eyes. Lyra pushed the door open and immediately Bon Bon's heart sank. While the outside of the cabin was decrepit, the inside was decrepit with an extra helping of creepy. Dust lay in a thin blanket across the wine-red furniture. Beams of dim light revealed a kitchen space next to the main room, where a neat stack of decorative plates sat, as if abandoned midway on the journey to or from the cabinet. Across the main room was a door hanging ajar. Shelves of books leaned against the walls with a reading bench sitting before a fireplace with a blackened heart. Jesus, that sentence was fucking awful, dude. <laughs> with a fireplace with a blackened heart. <laughs> position with a prep like, position. I, like, I, I've been reading so far just fine. Like, okay, it's, it's good. Story's going good. But that sentence just, like... If you like reading, let's read it as, as, as necessary. Like, like the, the, treat it as any other story as you see fit. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's okay. That one just does stand uh, out quite Yeah. Oh! Carrot Top years. managed as she peered past Bon Bon. <laughs> Bon Bon turned to Lyra, a scathing comment already forming on her lips when she realized that her friend was standing stock still in the doorway, trembling. Bon Bon Just felt her irritation. <laughs> <laughs> bon Bon felt her irritation drain away as she remembered that Lyra had been honestly excited about this trip. Any disappointment she felt about the state of the cabin must have been much worse for her friend. She laid a hoof on the unicorn's back. Lyra. I didn't think. He didn't tell me. Lyra quavered. It's all right, dear. Bon Bon said, rubbing Lyra's back. Carrot Top and Derpy. Uh, <laughs> Derpy. Carrot Top and Derpy both moved back. <laughs> Carrot to Top and the Turkey. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Gobble gobble. <laughs> I know you do. Happy Thanksgiving, do I? No. <laughs> I Lyra looked back at Bon Bon, tears brimming and face beaming. It's not just all right, she choked out. 
He never told me he kept a private library out here. Lyra suddenly lunged forward, laughing as she hugged Bon Bon tightly before making a beeline for the books. Carrot Top and Derpy quickly s slipped past Bon Bon, ignoring the sound of grinding teeth. Damn, that's that must be some loud ass fucking grinding teeth. <laughs> they knew her well enough to know when to give her some space. Unfortunately, the same was not true for Colgate, who had just decided to rejoin them. Wow, Lyra, this place is a dump! The blue unicorn whistled. Bon Bon. Did I do Will? Bam! Did we lose? Oh, bon bon no, hold, 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 she's saying, hold, she's saying hold on a it's moment. A, it's alright. Yeah, hold on. Te it's time it's a... to stop. Where are your parents? Oh. So, what are your feelings to this reading so far, too, Hans? It's, yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway. Okay, All right. Any, anyway. Trash bang. I think I, I think that was good back. enough. It's good enough. Are you ready to keep going? It's your <laughs> line, Billy. All right. <clears throat> <And one more. clears throat> No one asked for your opinion on it. <laughs> bon, bon, <laughs> Colgate, startled, scrambling, you tumbling back down me? the porch steps. You know, if That's that com if comma wasn't there, it would have been fucking hilarious. <laughs> well, it, it should be it should be Colgate, Colgate startled, comma scrambling, tumbling. Yeah. Scrambled, tumbling backward down the porch steps. That still wouldn't be right. Fuck it should be, it should be Colgate, Colgate startled, um, and scrambled, or, or fuck, Colgate startled. Then it, it, it would have to be either startled or scrambled. Like you damn know, you, like, sound speed. <laughs> Never tried there was that. a long moment of silence as every pony stared at Bon Bon, broken only by the whimpering of Colgate, who had not moved from where she had fallen. Bon Bon spun and stormed across the main room, pushing through the cabin's only other door. Beyond, there was a short hallway, flanked on either side by a second pair of doors, with a third, much more sturdy-looking one at the end, which Bon Bon suspected led outside. So this isn't the cabin's only door. Bon Bon pushed through the right s side door and found herself in a small bedroom. The, only door. the room was no more inviting than the rest of the cabin, but it did have the advantage of not having a crowd of shocked ponies staring at her. With a practiced flick, she shook out the blanket, sending a cloud of dust into the air and also her mouth, probably. Before it had even begun to settle, the earth pony dove beneath the blanket. Bon Bon, sweetie! Go away, Lyra. Bon Bon grumbled from beneath the blanket. To her annoyance, it like food sex with with G Money and Ryan Dunn. Or <laughs> to her annoyance, the sound of the door closing was followed by the sound of approach of approaching hoofsteps. Bon Bon, I'm trying to find my place. Ah, there. Like, same line. Uh, Go away, Lyra. She repeated louder while remaining firmly under the blanket. Firmly she felt, grasp it. <laughs> she felt the bed sag slightly as a familiar weight settled down beside her. Ooh, a familiar. Glad she can recognize the weight. Mm. Oh, yes, I, I recognize that fat ass. I, I think it. I think it works. Yeah. A hoof rested on, on her back and began to massage in slow circles as she let out an exasperated sigh and moved in closer. What's the matter, Vaughn? <laughs> Ira's voice was soothing, but Vaughn Vaughn could hear the tenseness in the question. Tenseness. It's nothing. Vaughn Vaughn lied before thinking better of it. You want a cigarette? Oh my god. No, it's not nothing. It's the whole trip. A stand user's attack. <laughs> she stuck her head out of the blankets and glared at Lyra. Now, now I can just, oh. now I can just imagine like uh, Lyra going through her bag and going, "My cigarettes are missing. This must be the work of an enemy stand user." <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
you invited me on this wonderful trip out to the woods, and then you went and invited her along. Liver recoiled. <laughs> you invited carrot top and turkey. The wife had suddenly and a turkey. Problem. <laughs> You invited Terra Top and the entire country of Turkey. It's <laughs> <laughs> be a problem when I want to spend some time with one of my friends. Because Terra Top and Turkey are not my friends, they're our friends. Now I didn't invite them to come along until after I found out that you had decided to bring along some random ass piece of shit who I barely knew. <laughs> Had you only just started seeing her again when you were off, alone and wait, there should be a comma in between off and alone. Uh, at the end of the month, that way. Or, yeah, or the, it, it it's either that or there shouldn't be a comma after alone. Yeah. The other. Yeah. Liar's face blanched at the implication. You're kidding. Lyra stopped rubbing Bon Bon's back and fixed the mare with a glare of her eyes. Started punching it. Lesbian polyamorous horses. Continue. <laughs> is that what this is about? You think I like her? She's a whore. I invited both of you out in the middle of the She's woods. A horse. And I wanted to cheat on you with a school friend who I barely <laughs> had a chance to see in years. That's perfect. <laughs> Lyra's voice rose in volume. One more invitation was for just me and Colgate to come up here. I didn't invite Colgate to join because I didn't want to spend time alone with you. I invited you because I didn't want to take a vacation without you. <gasps> Tears began to run down Lyra's face as she took a steadying breath. Bon Bon sighed and pulled the unicorn down onto the bed with a hug. I'm getting lightheaded. I'll hold you. <laughs> you should talk. talk. You should talk. I'm on my way. Mom. It's alright. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Bon Bon. Is this your I did already. Oh. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't hear it. Sorry. Lyra embraced her back. Burying her tear-streaked face in Bon Bon's shoulder, avoiding jabbing her mare friend with her horn. Ooh. Very important. Yeah, that's for later. Well, I mean, at, le at least not in her back. You must uh, jab at something else. We clung. I just wanted you to like it, because I never get to see my old friends. When I do, I usually have to go all the way to Camelot without you. I really wanted this to go well, so we could do other things like this more often. But now you just think that I... That I... <laughs> Lyra's voice was choked off by sobs. Bon Bon rolled her eyes as she held Lyra. Oh, she hadn't seriously emotional believed... Pussy. <laughs> she hadn't seriously believed that Lyra had it in her to actually go through with cheating on any pony. But she had wanted to sting her mare friend at least a little for bringing along the annoying unicorn and dragging them all off to this Celestia forsaken cabin. Still, she hadn't expected that Lyra would be quite so on edge. She was generally emotional and more than a little excitable, but it was obvious that Lyra was on her period. But it was obvious <laughs> that Lyra had been far more invested in this trip's success than she had went on. Says Bon Bon, the horse that doesn't have periods. Whatever, there are horse periods in Equestria. No. After a while, Lyra stopped crying, but the two stayed together in silence on the bed. Finally, Bon Bon nuzzled the top of Lyra's head and whispered, You want to have some makeup sex? Something that you might like to hear. <laughs> we should go and talk to the others, I guess. I need to apologize to Toothpaste Brand. <laughs> Lyra murmured something that we sounded get like... We paid for this story! <laughs> Lyra murmured something that sounded like... Thank you, sweetie! Into Bon Bon's shoulder. The two untangled themselves and took Thank a moment to... shoulder! <laughs> two untangled themselves, took a moment to straighten their appearances before leaving the room together. 
You're my only friend on the side on the silent shoulder. The only <laughs> friend on this side of her body. The sun had almost <laughs> set by the time they had returned, but as the world outside had dimmed, the cabin had come to life. A merrily burning fire illuminated the room, and the smell of tea and vegetables matched the smells of dust of the age that had permeated the cabin. Carrot Top was preparing meals as Derby tidied the room, lighting no, a few perky. candles to help brighten up the room further. God damn. Colgate no, was sitting on the bench eating in there. front of the fireplace. There was at least a period there, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. a period in between cabin and Karen. Yeah. You know. I, yeah, I know. The Karen cabin. I know there was. I wasn't implying otherwise. It's I was just wanted to long. read those sentences really quickly. Uh, yeah. Bon Bon winced as she noticed that the unicorn's leg was slightly swollen and that she had a few bandages on her back. Hey, girl! Lyra said, somewhat lamely. I take offense to that. <laughs> What's for dinner? Derpy jumped a little, upsetting a candle. I like that. I like using the upsetting in that fucking way. Yeah. It's good. Um, I, it's I like pause the, now the, can, the candle is just crying its oh, black. Fuck, does the author's <laughs> note. Why Carrot, would you do that to You me? have to read the author's note, do you? Oh, fuck. Carrot Top masked her own surprise with a smile as she said... Oh, good! Dinner is almost ready! Colgate looked up from her book, but quickly looked back to it as she caught Bon Bon's eye. Bon Bon felt her heart sink a little at the look of fear on the unicorn's face. They're all going to God. die. Lyra was going to be disappointed. They're going to uh, summon uh, sleep. Okay, I'll do... Do I have to do the author's I, note? Yeah. Yes, you have to read every letter and fucking piece of that <laughs> can't uh, add, URL, too. Can't add anything to it or anything? <laughs> No. Uh, no, okay, alright. Word for word, word diphthong for, for diphthong. Alright, I'm skipping over the actual link, though. I'm not reading the entire link. No, we'll read it. It's uh, short. Fuck's it, alright, fine. Author's note. Full cast reading here. HTTP dot dot slash slash UTU dot BE slash colon YHF one DSPCO four. Um, that link will be in the description. No vote. <laughs> <laughs> well, it will be the link will be on the story, which you can find on uh, the account Doohot Eight on Fanfiction. Oh fuck off! Called... Oh, no, no, I'm I'm mixing up Fanfiction.net and Fanfiction. The story. Oh, oh, oh. This story was originally started back in October of 2013. Has a short Halloween crossover. After writing the first two, two chapters, I ended up shaving. I ended up no, sh sorry. shelving the story. Unhappy with what I had written and unable to devote the time to fix it, I picked it back up again after the semester ended. Because I was, <laughs> and over the Christmas break began rewriting, uh, rewriting, which resulted in the fan fiction that you're now reading. <laughs> I like the Christmas break. Um, no. Do you have? Did you get like a? Fe do you have a festive car break? I have. I have the most festive. <laughs> I have. I. I celebrate Festivus. It's for the rest <laughs> of us. Since that time, I have had it edited and re-edited by different disagreeing editors and completed okay, nearly Thomas. the story. Uh, 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 I. I will. Release the chapters as they are edited, but have to. Oh God, I have to warn you, all that both myself and my editors are fairly busy. So, despite the relatively little work left to finish this piece, it might be a few weeks before all six chapters are finished and uploaded. Six months later. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. The that out of that out of the way. Let's talk about the story, baby. <laughs> Oh, no. Fuck you, Pastor. Well, let, let's let's talk about the you piece, the you piece of shit. You yeah. piece of shit. Fuck you. Fuck you, past me. <laughs> As a fan of the films you may have already picked up on, this is not a direct remake of the first Evil Dead films. Well, I love those movies to death. They already exist. Well, I intend to stay close to the framework and tone of the original story, or like some other reimaginings I could name. That fucking, that fucking remake movie that I still hate. I want to make the story fun and unpredictable to old fans. 
of the series as well as those who were new to it. Like any fucking person would read this story without first being familiar with Evil Dead. Dark, okay, I sorry. actually, I only attempted to watch the first movie, and I just... Oh, the, the second and third are significantly better. Yeah, the, the yeah. second one's better. Yeah. I haven't seen any of them. Also, the second one's technically like a remake of the first one, an expansion of it, so... Yeah. yeah. Anyway, finally, as some of you more keen-eyed readers have probably picked up on already, the story does not star the main six. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't notice. No, it's just... <laughs> Yeah, if this st- oh, there are yeah. Uh, this that line was so necessary. Oh, it's it was super super on point. There are a few reasons for this, but the two big ones are that one, I felt the liar and her friends were more na- fit more naturally into the role I need filled for this story than Twilight and the girls, because they have no characters and so can basically are just basically playing slates. And two, I have a plan for them. Oh yes, I have plans. Sorry, <laughs> it's really fucking hard to write other characters into a story when you actually aren't the writers for the actually characters. actually I did write them in for the sequel, which is uh well at some point maybe we'll talk about the sequel. Maybe oh, if we if we get through this, we might do the sequel. No. Oh, we're getting aside that. from the lack of spacing. Very solid first chapter. We'll continue reading. I was scared for a second when hooves were massaging her back. I expected this to happen. <laughs> no, bon no. Bon. Lyra, I said Bon Bon no. at their starting <laughs> what looked like a dead pony. No, <laughs> she was just imagining things. She had to be zombie. No. Rargh! Bon Bon. Oh, hi. A couple of seconds later, the group that had been traveling with Bon Bon heard a shrill, long what scream is... coming yeah, from no, the room so... Bon Bon was in. Was Nothing negative not... to say. Fucking awesome. What? That's what? not. That's not how. That's not how the movie works. I know that much. Oh shit! That was that was that was a Those comment. Oh fuck! Okay, I thought you were like reading something. I was like, when did I write that? <laughs> oh my god! Pink this cupcake. Well, at least, at least, like with my YouTube channel, a very small number of people rather enjoyed what I wrote. <laughs> Nothing negative to say. Fucking awesome. Is Simon's name. Thank you, Simon. Rasalon the Lizardman uh, it says, aside from the lack of spacing, a very solid first chapter. We'll continue reading. I believe uh, oh, my uh, my uh, sorry, read this. Shit. Yeah. So, uh, so good I mean, game. GG everybody, GG. Play hey, of the game. game. Wow. Alright, are we done for right now? <laughs> this is gonna bit the button then? I'm gonna get play the game. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Person Thank yes. you. <laughs> Thank you everyone for joining us. There's a chance we might do this again, I guess. Till then. Oh.